You can roughly locate any community in the world, somewhere along a scale running all the way from democracy. When a competent observer looks for signs of despotism in a community, he looks beyond fine words and noble phrases. A community is low on a respect scale if common courtesy is withheld from large groups of people on account of their political attitudes. If people are rude to others because they think their wealth and position gives them that right, or because they don't like a man's race or his religion. Like France under the Bourbon kings, one of whom said, the state, I am the state. Today, democracy can ebb away in communities whose citizens allow power to become concentrated in the hands of bosses. What I say goes, see? I'm the law around here. <laughs> The test of despotic power is that it can disregard the will of the people. It rules without the consent of the governed. In a downright despotism, opposition is dangerous whether the despotism is official or whether it is unofficial. Where land is privately owned, one sign of a poorly balanced economy is the concentration of land ownership in the hands of a very small number of people. Another sign of a poorly balanced economy is a taxation system that presses heaviest on those least able to pay. A larger part of a small income is spent on necessities such as food. Sales taxes on such necessities hit the small income harder. See how community trains its teachers. Bear this in mind. Young people cannot be trusted to form their own opinion. This business about open-mindedness is nonsense. It's a waste of time trying to teach students who think for themselves. It's our job to tell them. And when teachers put such training into practice, despotism stands a good chance. These children are being taught to accept uncritically whatever they're told. Questions are not encouraged. How can you ask such a question? Have you got a textbook? Yes, ma'am. Does it say here that our law courts are always just? Yes, ma'am. Then how dare you question the fact? Sit down. And so we aren't surprised when... But it must be true. I saw it in this book right here. It is also possible for newspapers and other forms of communication to be controlled by private interests. I thought I told you to kill that story. It'll cost us a lot of advertising. If that story goes out, I quit. All right.